This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how do I restore the canvas to its full width after a divider closes? So to start off, I have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. Now the question is asking about the canvas size and closing the dividers. So as an example of this, I'm just going to hover over this divider here, and I'm just going to double click, and this is now going to close that right tray. Now you notice after that tray has been closed, I now have these blank areas on my UI. And so what is happening is that my canvas size here is not large enough to fill these areas. So the size of your canvas is determined by the sliders located in the document palette. So if I come to the document tab here and open this up, down here we have a width and a height. So currently this is set to 1480 by 922. So I have 1,480 pixels going horizontally and 922 pixels going vertically. So this canvas size here does not change if you open and close the dividers. So if I double click these again and open them up and then go to the document tab, you can see that the width and the height has stayed constant. So closing and opening the dividers is not going to change that canvas size. So if you would like to fill in this gap on both sides of the UI when you have a divider closed, you just need to change the size of your canvas. To do this, you can go back to the document tab here, and you can go down to this width and height area, and you can change the values here to increase your canvas size, or you can come up here, activate W size, and then click New Document. Now when you activate W size, it's going to automatically fit the canvas to the current window size. So what that means is that it's going to look at your current ZBrush UI, and it's going to fill this entire area here with the canvas. So if I go to document and I have W size on, and now I click new document, you're going to now get a little pop-up. Just gonna hit no to this. And you're gonna notice now my canvas here has been filled to the window size. So if I go to my document tab and look at my width and height values, you can see that the width has changed. So it is no longer 1480, it is now 1730, but my height has remained the same. So since I changed the width of the UI when I went to document and had W size active and then did new document, it's just resizing the canvas to those dimensions. So after you have this process done, we now just need to redraw our model back on the canvas. So I'm just gonna click and drag to draw out that PolyMesh 3D star again. And then I'm gonna go back into edit mode by clicking here or pressing T on my keyboard. And now the canvas should now fill the window. Now, one thing of note is that the canvas is always going to stay the same size, and this is not going to change when you open and close the divider. So if I position my mesh to the very corner of the canvas here, I'm just going to hover over the divider and double click, and you'll notice that after that tray returns that my PolyMesh 3D star has part of it occluded. And this is because the canvas size, once again, has not changed. So it's still at that 1730 width, but my window here isn't that large, so part of the canvas is being occluded by the UI. So most of the times this will not be an issue, especially if you're just sculpting models, but if you're attempting to do renders, it is recommended that you set your document size to the width and height of the render that you wanna do, and then use this zoom document option here to zoom out to make sure you can see your entire canvas. So you can see as I zoom out, I'll see the borders of the canvas there. And this will just allow you to fully see your scene before you come up here and do a document export. So once again, the canvas size is controlled by these sliders here and not controlled by the UI. So the canvas is never going to change its size unless you go to the document panel and modify these values here. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.